welcome to our next lecture, next video, where we have to discuss about the exact differential equation. The next step of first order, first degree differential equation. My previous lecture, I have to teach you the separable variable, homogeneous, reducible to homogeneous, linear, and Bernoulli's means reducible to linear differential equation. Last is for first order, first degree, exact and reducible to exact. So, what is the what? Which equation is called exact differential equation? Definition of first order first degree is n dx plus n dy. Any equation, whatever given, you have to arrange in this form where n and n are constant or either function of x or y, anything. Then for the exact exactness of this equation, what we have to check? We have to now you learn partial differentiation in your previous classes. So we have to find out. Then means partial differentiation. Partial derivative of m with respect to y. So in this case, x treating as constant if m containing any x treating as constant. Similarly for m, m partially differentiate with respect to x. In this case, y treating as constant. This is del y, del x. So for exactness, our condition is del m upon del y is equal to del n upon del x. If both terms are equal, then we can say the given equation is the exact of first order, first degree. If it will found to be exact, then apply the solution for exact equation. Now what is the solution, final solution for the exact equation? We just learn as a formula m dx. Integration of dm and dx where you write at the down y constant. Means any y here treating as a constant and when you operate integration. Means y is treating as a constant. Plus term n not containing x dy is equal to c. So, what is the meaning of this? Means, whatever is our n, we have to take only those terms where is x is not available. Term not containing x, term n not containing x means n the terms we should not have with x, only those terms coming here integrate with respect to y is equal to c integration constant that is the complete solution or general solution of first order first degree exact differential equation. Now we will have a quick look of one example. There are many examples for home, from homogeneous reducible to homogeneous which we can solve with this exact differential equation. So uh, this first order first degree differential equation I previously I also told you we can solve it with many ways. Our solution is the same but either many equation we can solve with the linear also and exact also. Many equation we can solve with the reducible to homogeneous and exact also. Many equation solve with homogeneous and reducible to exact like that means we have many ways to solve this. Whatever you stuck in mind, whatever First, you think that it is solvable in this form, you apply that form. So, now we go for one example of exact differential equation. Mm, previous I thought I solved this example in reducible to homogeneous 2x, uh, sorry, minus of y plus 1 dx plus 2y minus x minus 1 dy is equal to 0 where this is the form of m dx plus m dy means our m is this and n is this m is equal to 2x minus y plus 1 and n is 2y minus of x minus 1 so what is our first step check the exactness of the equation first we have to find out then m upon del y means m term partially differentiate with respect to y, x treating as constant, so this constant term becomes 0, then y, d by dy of y is equal to minus of 1, this constant term becomes 0. 
Similarly, del and y. Del x. In this case, y treating as constant. So, this terms become 0, minus 1, minus 0. So, see, del m upon del y is equal to minus 1 and del n upon del x is equal to minus 1. Means both are same. Satisfy the condition of exactness. Hence, we can say this equation is exact. So, apply the solution of exact equation. Now, we can apply the solution of exact equation. Exact equation is what? M 2x minus y plus 1. M, what is the solution of? M dx y constant. Here when we integrate, we treating y as the constant. Plus n. Term n not containing of x term. Means in n we have to not include this minus x. We take only 2y and minus 1. So 2y minus 1 dy is equal to c. Just integrate this. In 4 steps, if our equation is exact, our solution is very simpler, not longer. This equation, if we can solve with the reducible to homogeneous, this is also homogeneous, reducible to homogeneous, that solution comes same but very longer process. So, now we integrate this. Just come up. So, when we integrate it, y treating as a constant. So, 2x, what is this? 2x is x square by 2 minus yx plus x plus now 2y is 2y square by 2 minus of y is equal to c. Correct? Now, 2 to cancel, 2 to cancel. So, what is it become? x square plus y square minus x square plus x minus y is equal to c. That is the required solution of given differential equation. In exact, we can solve in very less steps. So, this is all about your exact differential equation. For exact, you have to remind always that it arrange into m dx plus n dy. Whatever terms with dx is called m, whatever term belong with dy is called n. M term partially differentiate with respect to y, n term partially differentiate with respect to x. If del m upon del y is equal to del n by del x, then given equation is exact, apply the solution of exact equation and get the result. That's all about the your exact differential equation. Exact differential, if your given equation is exact, it will be very easy to solve. So, in uh, my next lectures, I will give you some uh, videos on only problem solving. I, because I already teach all the method, we just discuss the some important problems on that video. So, you can found some more examples on exact or any other form. Thank you very much for all. If you have any query, just write me or comment me. Then I will give you the reply. Okay? And thank you.